Happy New Year, everyone. It's great to have our students back on campus, first day of class. It's great to have Mountaineer Nation uh, so enthusiastic about the university, and it's, and it's great for me to be here. I am just absolutely thrilled to uh, be able to extend to everyone uh, New Year's greetings and to do it from our great campus in Morgantown. What I thought I'd do is I would uh, give you my view of the world uh, with the top 10 Guy gems. And uh, you know I love these top 10 uh, pieces. As you know, I have ridden the PRT, I've gone to toga parties, uh, I even got a driver's license. So there are all sorts of things that have happened to me, but most importantly, uh, I've got uh, 10 reasons that I'm very grateful that we're all here together. So the first one is number 10, college game day comes to Morgantown. That was an event. ESPN, we had Tent City, the students were so happily engaged and so happily involved. It was one of the best uh, events that I have ever seen on game day. And of course it was great to have, uh, have the game day crew here. It was a great celebration of the university on this campus with our students uh, doing such remarkable things with our fans. And it was a great celebration nationally for Mountaineer Nation. So game day was our uh, number 10 slot. The number nine gem is forming relationships with our policymakers around the state and in the nation's capital. Um, this is an important issue for, for me and for this university. Uh, we are blessed to have great policymakers in Morgantown at our local level, uh, certainly at the state, uh, have a wonderful governor, and in, in the nation's capital we've been very blessed with great support. Together we can do great things for West Virginia. Well, gem number eight is something I'm terribly proud of, our national championship rifle team. These are great students and they're great athletes and they have brought great recognition to this institution. We won our first national championship on my first watch in 1983 and I come back uh, and we won it again this year. And in between, we've had 16 national championships in rifle. It brings great recognition to the qualities of life at this institution and the type of students that we attract. So go Mountaineers and our rifle team. Number seven, graduation. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> anyway, graduation. I'm not very good at it, but, I, but this is great. I love graduations. The reason is, is the fact that there's family and friends and people gathering together. It's a celebration. It's, it, it's payback for our faculty and our staff for the hard work that they put forward. And it's a great way to tell our students we love them. And it's a great way for the students and the families to connect to the institution. Graduation, always at the top of any f gem list for me. Number six. I made Reddit twice in one week. And in fact, they took my photo that I took at a custer stand in Flatwoods and they turned it into some interesting uh, copy. But, mo uh, but the one that I love the most is, uh, is the one uh, where they have an Orville Redenbacher uh, poster. True, but nonetheless, that's me. Number five, and I want everyone to listen to this one, Conducting Country Roads with the West Virginia University Symphony Orchestra. Let me tell you something, they've never sounded so good. I really did a great job, there's no doubt about it. Of course, the orchestra was conductor-proof uh, because of the fact that I just waved my arms. But anyway, James uh, Miltenberger, Doc Miltenberger, he, he created a great uh, version of Country Roads for the symphony, and what a great group of young people. Gem number four, and this one is very special to me, the 55-county tour. People love this state, they love living here, they love being part of uh, their communities. And I was privileged to be in all 55 counties this past summer and an opportunity to visit with so many people. 4-H uh, students, uh, county uh, fairs, uh, opportunities to be in communities and their schools and in their, uh, in their hospital. One thing about West Virginians, and that is the fact that they love West Virginia and they love living in these communities. And so it's an opportunity for us to say this university belongs to you. This university is uh, the hopes and dreams of so many people and that we're going to be ever present, we're going to be ever involved, we're going to be ever engaged in your lives. 55 counties, I'm going to see you again next year. Number three, you know it would not be right to say that 2014 came without tragedy. We lost some wonderful people. We lost several students. We lost some of our own dignity. Uh, by some of the ways that uh, we acted uh, after victories, after, uh, after activities that uh, 
were uh, entirely celebratory but turned in the wrong way. And so we just have to acknowledge that. But the thing that's wonderful about it is the fact that our students have taken responsibility for this and have, have turned it into a, into a very positive uh, time for this institution. Respectful Mountaineers. Uh, what a great way for the students to turn around and say, listen, we are going to take charge of our own lives. We're going to take charge of our own university. We're going to be very thoughtful about celebrating uh, all that is great about this institution. We're going to have fun, but we're going to do it in a way that shows that we are the kind of institution that is respectful to ourselves and to other people. Well, I mean, I would really be untrue to myself if I didn't say, I love selfies! <laughs> and so, here we go. I have had the greatest opportunity to meet students and to have my picture taken with them and to be able to learn more about their lives and to be able to learn more about what their aspirations are. So even if I am the self-proclaimed selfie king, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity for me to meet so many wonderful people. And so if you haven't had your picture taken, I'm available. Well, drum roll, I bet none of you can imagine uh, what my number one uh, gem is of the year, and that is being named again the president of West Virginia University. As you know, I am now on my second term. I loved my first term. It was a wonderful time to be in this state. Uh, I was young, I was learning, and then the opportunity to come back and serve again. So I have a lot of people to thank. It's a blessing in my life, and it's an honor to be able to serve. There you have it. My top ten Gordon Gee gems. Um, and as you can see, we've had highs and lows, many more highs than lows, but we certainly have faced uh, adversity with strength, and we now face opportunity with optimism. And I look so forward to this year. This is going to be a great year for this university. It's going to be a great year for this state. It's going to be a great year for uh, this country, because we have on our campus the future of this nation. The best and, and the brightest generation in the history of this country, and I believe the greatest generation. So we're going to celebrate that this year, too.